What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with our RP series. Today is the last episode on the quest system, finally. So what we need to do today is basically make that when we have completed all of the objectives, we will mark the quest as completed and you know, finish the quest and you know, put a small pop up with text. It's gonna be very easy with follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so what we need to do is go into our quest system folder and open up our BPC quest, so our quest component. As you can see, when we open this up, we have, you know, the eliminate enemy and open chest objectives that we will complete and so on. And we have the active quest and da da da. So basically what we need to do is a counter for the amount of objectives that we have completed. And if we have completed the all the objectives of the quest, but we'll finish that quest. So let's go ahead and just go right click and create a new custom event. And this will just be, uh, you know, a quest. So objective complete. Complete it, there we go. And basically let's create a new variable and it will be objectives completed. Okay, and this will be an integer and basically this will add up every time. So every time that we will complete a quest, sorry, our objective, uh, this number will basically add up. And basically what we need to do here is just make sure that the, if, if basically if this is greater or equal to, let's right click the active quest and get the length of all of the quest objectives, that will mean that we have finished the quest so we can mark this as completed and it's quest completed okay so as you can see we have this here let's put it here we're getting the array of the objectives and if we have more than you know the ones in the list we will basically finish the quest and of course we'll you know make some pop-ups and so on but for now let's do like this so basically in the limited enemy right at the end what we have to do is basically just call the uh, objective completed the event that we have is created and also this will be in the chest one so with that said we can put this here as you can see compound save and we can give it a go but let me select my quest giver over here and go into the quests and i just want to go into the first quest and basically you know just reduce a bit the uh you know objectives because we have four so we have to eliminate five enemies and open the chest and the other ones are just you know why whatsoever so i'm gonna go ahead and just delete this one and delete this one so basically we only have the open chest and eliminate five enemies which they're actually i think uh, there are only two so let's also update that uh great so with that said we can give it a go in theory when we complete one of the objectives they should add up and if there are more than the amount of objectives we should get the sprint which is quest completed remember not only completed but quest completed because it's the front so let's go ahead and give it a go i can go ahead and just pick up the quest which is olympus in this case we have those objectives i can go ahead and open the quest that will be one uh, completed so you can see it ticked at the top left open chest and now i need to eliminate the other two enemies so let's go ahead and do so uh, let me get the light sword because for the heavy sword we still don't have a model and uh, let's go ahead and search for our enemies, which there are here. And let me go ahead and just eliminate them, like I saw. So, go ahead and try to eliminate them. There we go. That will be one. Now I have to eliminate the other one, which is they're attacking. Please, also we need to make that you cannot uh, debug, sorry, uh, block one that is dead. Uh, don't worry, I'll show that out later. So basically now, so you can see quest completed. I have marked both of them. You can see that the uh, print did appear. Okay, it was very fast, but you can possibly even see. So that is completed. So basically what we need to do now is go ahead and set the active quest to be nothing. So we'll go ahead and empty that. We'll set the objectives complete, uh, completed back to be zero. And that's it really. I mean, everything, uh, the um, actors ray at the end, and you know, that should be it. 
So now what we need to do is go ahead and, you know, I'll, I will, oh, that, that's already is reset. Don't worry about that. Uh, so now we just need like a message pop up and to get the other uh, one out. Okay, so you can see we have different stuff here. We'll fill the objectives and set the text for some UI. And, you know, add this uh, widget. So you can see that this is the widget that we can see after active press. And so we'll have to basically like, uh, uh, you know, remove this. Uh, but let's go ahead and just add a new text over here. And this will be quest complete. I'm going to make a very simple animation, nothing crazy, just for now. You can go ahead and go more crazy in it. But basically, let's put it maybe, you know, 40, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and center this and just put a small outline. So it will be in the, uh, where's, where's in the font outline here. Let's put like five. And then I'm going to go ahead and just anchor this at the top part and put the alignment to be 0.5, 0.5, 5 will be perfect and then position x at here and then y gonna leave it at 200 so it'll be appearing over here so now by default the where is it color and opacity the alpha will be at zero so you can see we have the outline so actually we're gonna use outline because it will bug uh so you can see that you know even taking this will not work so i'm gonna go ahead and just disable that Okay, so basically the alpha is what we have to change. So we have to make a new animation, but let's go ahead and rename this to be the quest. Quest completed pop up text. And in this case, we are going to go ahead and create a new animation. So select this animation uh, quest completed. And of course, we're going to put in spaces. Let's put an underscore. Let's select it, add a track, and it will be the pop up text. Great, so now at the start, it will have the alpha at zero. And then uh, a bit later, we'll have it at one. So we'll mark this and then we'll go ahead, add it more at one. So we'll mark again. And at the end, slowly disappear. So maybe here, uh, zero. So now this will happen. Press play, you can see quest completed and it disappears. Nothing crazy for not gonna live like this. Uh, so now I can go out of the thing. Uh, first of all, also change the the color to be kind of like, yeah yellowish orangey i think like that and for now this will go ahead and just work as you can see uh, so with that said we need to play that so let's create a new custom event which will be custom event and this will be called something like play quest completed animation Now we can just get our quest completed animation and then you say play animation. So we'll go ahead and just play that. And of course we have to call it from there. So I'm here, I can go down and then you say uh, the hot widget play quest completed animation and that should go ahead and work. And of course, let's go ahead and just play some sounds. So we'll do it here as it's going to be in 2D. So play sound 2D. Now, of course, we wouldn't have anything crazy, okay? Um, you can play around with something. I think in here we have some sounds, uh, but, you know, there were more for other stuff. I think I used the level up, okay? Yeah, you're gonna use the level up. So let's go ahead and use that. And it will also work for the quest complete, whatever. Uh, so now, when I will complete, that should pop up which we'll test in a second. But um, also another thing that we have to do is of course kind of remove the UI because right now when you spawn, you have the active quest there and it's a bit necessary. So what we need to do is go here and create a new custom event, which will be hide quest panel. And basically the quest panel will be really, um, you know, background, all this stuff. So I don't know if I can, Put this inside of but now okay okay so you know we need to get all this and basically you just kind of hit it you know so that will be the background the background blur let's put it here it's variable active quest and then object this bottom so now i'm here i can just get everything so the active quest text the background the background blur and the vertical box and you say set 
this ability. And now all of this will be hidden. So they will not be able to be previewed, as you can see. There we go. And now that will basically work. And now also at the start, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, at the begin play, call that because we will not have anything. So I can just get this UI and say hide quest panel. So at the beginning of the game, when we don't have any quest attached, as you can see, it will disable. Uh, don't worry about the quest completed text. Uh, we saw that in a second. But now, as you can see, we also have to show it when we, you know, set the quest. So you can see set active quest text. And here, what we can do is directly do the opposite. So we can go ahead and use, you know, the custom event and will be show quest panel. And now we can basically copy and paste this. But of course, instead of hidden, this will be visible. And now I can here just go ahead at the active quest. Sorry, the, the, the UI HUD and then say show quest panel. And that should basically show if I pick an objective. Sorry, a quest. So if I go here, don't worry about the text there and select it. You can see that now it shows up. And also, if of course I go and you know pick another one, it will update. But the uh, objectives have not cured, uh, cleared, as you can see. So basically, we have to kind of you know reset them. So basically, uh, before filling the objectives, we are gonna get the vertical box, and let's go ahead and say uh, clear children, and that will eliminate all of them. Uh, before adding again the objectives. So now if I press play, I go here as you can see and pick the Olympus, right? I have the objectives. And now if I go here and pick Pepe, <laughs> you can see now it clears out the objectives and everything is nice and set. Great. So uh, then when we go ahead and complete the quest, I'm going to go ahead and you say hide quest panel. And with that, uh, everything should go ahead and work. Now quickly let's go to the signer here and basically go to the quest and basically by default I select our text and make the alpha to be zero. So now that should work if I you know open the play and then go and you know select my quest Olympus here by right? two enemies open chest have my panel with there I can pick up my sword and equip it and also I can go ahead and open the chest, which is an objective and it will mark as completed. And now I can go and, you know, eliminate both of my enemies here. So, I guess so. There we go, one eliminated. Now the other one. There we go, wow. Quest completed, you can see that. The, the ghost and we have a nice animation and sound, uh, which is pretty nice, of course. We maybe can make the animation last a bit longer. So, you know, we'll basically just get this and just kind of put it here. This longer and this longer. So we'll be like, make this a bit faster, but so we'll appear and this and disappear and the effect will be a bit nicer. Great. So with that said, everything is resolved. We can go ahead, get quests and complete objectives. And when we have all of the objectives completed, we can go ahead and end our quest and then, you know, pick another one in that case. So that's it for this tutorial. If you find it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that the profiles will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. Join my Discord server. Check out the Virtus FPS course. It's amazing. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye. Thank you.